we have a crisis in our rural communities. Uh, we have a crisis uh, related to the affordability of homes. We have a crisis related to the energy efficiency of those homes. We have an economic crisis in our rural villages. Just their ability to put a roof over their head is very much in question and keeping that, that place warm. Nearly 100 miles above the Arctic Circle lies the small community of Anaktuvik Pass. There are no roads or navigable rivers into the village and few surrounding resources. The wind chill factor regularly makes Anaktuvik the daily winner for the coldest place in Alaska. A lot of the housing that's come in over the years has been housing from the south. And they're not really that appropriate to the north. They haven't worked well. They're cold. They're drafty. When you have a, a large number of people living in them and you have high humidity levels and things like that, they're not ventilated properly. The, uh, they're, there's rot and mold issues and things like that. Compounding the problem is the high cost of building in rural Alaska. Transporting materials and workers to build homes in the Arctic is difficult and expensive. As a result, there is a waiting list for people to get new housing. Many names have been on that list for 10 years. CCHRC has partnered with a number of other agencies to form a project called the Sustainable Northern Shelter. The project aims to break the trend in expensive and poor housing designs by building a series of homes in Anaktuvik Pass and all over the north. The research center flew a team to Anaktuvik Pass to gather information. The team met with the community over a period of three days. Residents spoke to the problems of their current homes and gave suggestions about what the new housing should look like. In November, the CCHRC team returned to Anaktuvik Pass with a floor plan for the new home. The plan combines traditional Alaska housing design with modern technology and architectural techniques while incorporating the thoughts and ideas of the village. The research center will take the comments, modify the design, and return to Anaktuvik to build a prototype house. Once summer arrives, it's time to begin construction. Students from Ilasavik College in Barrow were on site to learn construction methods and build the prototype house. With the prototype home completed, a family will soon move in. If all goes smoothly, the village will build more houses.